Welcome to Episode 4 of A Beginner's Guide to Recording in Cubase. In this episode, we will take a look at layering tracks. With this album, most of the tracks started off with just the handpan and the click track, and we built the songs from that bass on out. And it was easy to do, because Halion has all kinds of interesting sounds. If you're not sure which way to go, scroll through the sounds and audition them one by one, and before you know it, you'll have exactly what you need. Here we've shuffled the layers around for variety. Some of the sounds have a lot of regeneration, so you'll need to edit them if you want them to end at the same time as everything else. You'll need to play around with it. Other versions of Cubase might have this as a specific MIDI editing function, but it can be done. There's a workaround for everything. Movement is life is the typical 120 beats per minute. So I decided to make it into a dance track. I used Multisonic to build my own drum track. Again, this is done by layering, sound on sound. You might not be a drummer, but you have an idea of what drums are supposed to sound like. So find the hi-hat sound you like. Record with auto quantize, so whatever you end up hammering out will automatically conform to the tempo. Now, think about your snare drum. What should it sound like? And where should it land? You're building a groove. Find a snare sound that you like and repeat the process as before. Do the same for your kick drum. Multisonic has all kinds of useful drum and percussion sounds that lend themselves to jazzy things. So play around with it. Do you want a shaker or a tambourine? Build the most slamming percussion track you can, because you can. Doing this will teach you how rhythm works, or doesn't work, with instant, immediate feedback. So, after putting all the layers together, this was our finished product. In our next episode, we will explore velocities and how to use them. Thanks for watching.